Hello everybody and welcome back and in this tutorial we'll talk about the ARP spoofing. So since we are going to code in the next tutorial the ARP spoofer, uh, which is basically used in order to intercept, it is the base of intercepting the connection between two different users on the same network. So for example, as I have a picture right here, let's say this is our Cal Linux machine, which is the uh, MIT M connection. Now there are a bunch of tools that actually perform the R spoofing, but what we will be doing is we'll be coding our own tool. So the basics behind of this is that the actual there is a packet called the ARP packet, which allows the users on the network, or and by the users I mean the machines, to identify one another. So there are two types of the ARP packets. One of them is the request packet, and one of them is the response packet. So in the request packet, some, uh, some machine asks for the MAC address of a certain IP address. So for example, let's say this machine right here, let's call it machine R, which stands for router. We are A, which stands for the attacker. And this machine right here will be W, or pardon me, just V, which stands for victim. Or I could just do T for the target, but it doesn't even matter. For example, let's say this machine V, which is victim, asks for the MAC address of the router. So what this will do is it will send out the request uh, saying something like this. So basically, uh, the I, what's the MAC address of the 192.168.1.1? For example, let's uh, assume that this is the IP address of the actual router. Let me just write it right here. And what the victim machine will do is it will ask for the MAC address of this router. Now, it will uh, send out the request and any machine that actually knows what the MAC address of this IP address right here is, which is the MAC address of the router, will send back the reply saying the MAC address of the 192.168.1.1 is at this MAC address. Then the victim PC will update its ARP tables with the MAC address of the router, of the router's IP. But what happens when we actually perform the ARP spoofing? Well, what does happen is, in the normal connection, as you can see right here on the uh, green line, the communication goes between the victim and the router in a straight line. Because they are both identified correctly, and the router knows the MAC address of the victim, and the victim knows the right MAC address of the router. But if we run our R spoofing attack, we can actually spoof both the victim and the router into thinking, into thinking that we are one another. So for the victim, for example, we would send the packets uh, that would say that we are the router, and to the router, we would send the packets that would say we are the victim. So, let me just draw it like this. And then, instead of the victim sending packets directly to the router, they would send packets to us, which, we'd we, which we would then forward to the router. And then router would perform forwarding uh, further on, and then when they receive packets back which are meant for the victim, they would send those packets back to us. And that makes us to be a man in the middle by interfering their connection. Now we can do that for every PC on the local area network, so we can actually uh, sniff some of the uh, some some of the passwords that are, for example, not encrypted and that are going through our own Kali Linux machine. For the first time, all we ha all we will be doing is just running a simple ARP spoofer. Uh, we will use the Scapy library in Python, which is uh, a famous library for the actually configuring packets, sending packets, and bunch of the networking things we will be doing in that library. But for now on, in the next lecture, only thing we will do is just uh, make a simple uh, ARP spoofer. So this is just a little theory behind it. And I hope you understood it. If you didn't, don't worry, you can just post a question and I'll be more than happy to answer it. But this is rather simple. Uh, as it says right here, we are basically just a man in the middle interfering both of these people's connections. So that would be about it for this theory video. We will code the R spoofer in the next one. And then after that, we will code some packet sniffers, which will allow us to actually sniff some passwords that are going through from the victim PC to the router. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.